The Barnes & Noble's bookstore chain and I have a checkered past, as you may have seen from one of my other videos, and this story is no exception to the rule. This time, though, I didn't expect the culprit at all. Now, Barnes & Noble's is known for its amazing selection and its sky-high prices, but the prices are justified by said selection. They have a breathtakingly large manga section, too, which is the main reason I go anymore these days. I mean, I live in a library. All of my books are free, but if I want manga, I have to go over there. This happened back in October, right around my birthday. I always birthday shop at Barnes & Noble's because people give me gift cards and stuff. So my wife and I go to one of these bookstores. Right away, I have to do the bathroom test because I'm being a smartass. The folks at the Mall of America freaked out when I even closed the door. But this time, I wasn't bothered, thank goodness. When I come out, I go over to the manga section to see what's new and pick up the next couple of volumes of My Hero Academia. I am a sucker for superhero stuff, and Marvel and DC are too busy with their woke politics to put anything good out these days. So seeing a superhero-themed manga was right up my alley. Now, I had up to... I think volume 20 of My Hero Academia at the time, and I wanted to buy the next few that I could get my hands on only to find that they had volumes 1 to 20, and then from 26 onward. The exact next five volumes that I needed weren't there. So, I made do and bought number 26 to number 30, knowing that I'd be back on another day for the ones that I'd missed. I could put them away for now. Well, as it turns out, there were some shenanigans afoot. While I was in the restroom, my wife had gone to one of the employees and told her to take those five volumes, the ones that were missing, off the shelf so that I wouldn't buy them. Because someone had already gotten them for me for my birthday, and I was none the wiser. <laughs> I feel like a lot of strange things happen to me whenever I go to a Barnes & Noble's. Oh, one time, while I was there, I accidentally bought a gay manga. Now, I can already hear you. How do you accidentally buy a gay manga? Well, let me explain myself. The Wise Wise Beasts of the Wizarding Wisdoms is what it was called. Furries like myself don't have a lot of choice when it comes to manga. Sure, we've got Beastars, Odd Taxi, and Brand New Animal but not a lot else that's specifically targeted for us. Sure, you can read the Animal Crossing manga series, but there's not a lot of pulse-pounding action, romance, or big boobs and sword swinging going on there, let's be honest. I took one look at the cover and I was like, oh, furry manga, that's for me! And I put it in my basket and I took it home. Yes, I am that guy that has a whole basket of books under his arms at a Barnes & Noble's. Don't fucking judge me. <laughs> anyway, I got home and a few weeks go by before I get around to reading it, only to realize that it's a BL manga, or a boy love manga. I mean, I'm secure enough in my own sexuality. I wasn't, like, offended or grossed out or anything. It just took me by surprise. It takes place in a Harry Potter magic school sort of setting, and each chapter is devoted to a different furry couple and their feelings for each other or the idea of being gay and what sort of stress that works into your life. One of the school professors, an owl, often visits the school nurse, a unicorn, who is so far in the closet that it's actually kind of sad. He feels guilty about being gay because unicorns are extremely rare, and though he turns away all advances from the other school staff, he does confide a lot in his owl friend. Now, they're not a couple, they're platonic friends, but there's some pretty heavy, you know, repression because of expectations framework versus doing what makes you happy framework. Professor Owl has to do his best to get his friend out of his funk and make him accept himself. 
Every chapter in the book is different, following different characters and places in the school. It's not that explicit. I think the heaviest thing is a, a broom closet makeout session between two guys, which was honestly just more cute than anything. I'm well aware that 90% of the furry fandom is either gay or bi, and I am the odd owl out being completely straight, but I can appreciate the love and care that went into this single volume manga. You might check it out if you're interested. It's very well done. Anyway, something is always happening to me when I go to a Barnes & Nobles, and though I can't recommend the one at the Mall of America, it's definitely a good chain to visit. If you've really got the cash to spend. That's why I always ask for gift cards on my birthday. <laughs> See you later!